Firstly, his heir. Do we get a bonus? No. Hmm. Golden Prestige. So we could create one duchy. He would have 5,000 men if we did the independence. <clears throat> Fun. All right. Let the best warlord win. No, let us win. Um, slowly withdraw from the center. Prepare a counterattack on the center. Strategy is my game. Awesome. Strategist. Plus two martial. Stewardship. Defense. All the good stuff. Yeah, winter combat and the defense bonuses. We win any battle if we're in charge. Um, should we legitimize him? I think so. Save him. Make him struggle. Yeah, might die anyway. Comforted by lava. Yes, we need health. Work has become boring. We lose our diligence. But we gain economic advance. If we were to add ours in, we got 700 men. Steward Mimo. Yeah, keep trying to build our legend. How much does it cost to get rid of this non aggression pact? Lose 200 prestige, general opinion down, causes a truce until two years. Yeah. Get all. So, shouldn't have legitimized him, now we're going to have to split. Or we could. Um, of Shelland. No. And our uh, chaplain is available. I'll send her out. Don't worry about building zeal. Couple of hosts in there. A son was born. Murugula. We shall denounce this child. Don't want to split into too many parts. He's raised some troops. Yeah, screw him. We break the non-aggression pact. Or let's actually... Let's go risky. It's fine. Let's fight! The duel starts violently, etc, etc. We are wounded and lose prestige. Has stained our honor by forcing us down into the dirt. It's only natural we start to plan your revenge. Become bitter rivals. Which we could never duel him again anyway. <clears throat> we shall decline that. And we shall break our non aggression pact. We shall resign as his commander. Knows somebody who can kill him. To 150 just by ourselves. 
Success. It's a tragic accident. Gravity is a cruel mistress. Which means we should have uh, broken the thing. Alright. King Kettleman has made the Aldermas Fifth Yod his primary title. Our leisures died, the realm is in an uncertain state at the moment, but it's the right time to assert independence. Well, they have. First things first. Does he have a council yet? Spymaster Svein. Svein. Um. Yes. Vestisland is free. Which lets us create this title. We have 88 ducats. We have to create another title before we can do Norway. We need to hold at least two duchy titles. So I have to create the other one and then we can do Norway. Which we need 300 ducats. <coughs> King Ragnar Lothrop has inherited blah blah blah. blah. Alright, we will lose a couple of chiefdoms on succession, but they should still be under us because we're a duke. Hraffen owes us a favour. Can't really do anything with that. Take him as a concubine. Take her as a concubine. Alright, our capital at the moment is up here. Let's actually set this as our crown focus though. Ah, since it's the old capital of Ostland, we can actually do this. Awesome. Didn't realize we'd be allowed to move it again. Um, so, build our legend in our new capital. <coughs> Train, no, it's fine. We can declare war on Svithjord. I think we would rather think about Hologland. It's got 700 troops. We have tons of boats. We can get our army together. Force vassalization costs prestige. Subjugation costs nothing. He is chief, so he will actually come under us. Hmm. I think that would be okay. Alright, raise up everything and just raise boats over here. We've got a fancy new flag too. Way more boats than we actually want to raise. <clears throat> Alright, army should come to the capital normally. Play as Kutriger of Island. And the Ducal Laws. Who gets to vote? Guri, Guri, and Gija. I mean, still the best option at the moment, although she's probably going to be better. The old wound is finally healed. Yeah, we got him back for that. Should have probably declared on Agdia. No, look at all that prestige. Who's his heir? He has no prestige. Alright, get rid of the fleet. Start actually coming together a little closer. Oh, hello. Hologolanda. Yeah, we'll kill them first and then we'll come back. Eric, Scully, and who's this dude? Probably put Ulfer in, but no. Just make sure that they think they're balanced correctly. In the Daros tribe, kind of large. with five war score. Now, this is mountains, but surely this will be a slaughter. 
Get away from our holy sites. Look at that flanking. Alright, chase them back. Another Hulagalenda army. No point chasing them down anymore. We're going to have to do a couple of sieges anyway. Unsuccessful raid taking heavy losses in the attempt. Good. Alright, that's ours. Move on. They're still trying to get away. What do you even have here? Cool. He has no churches. Mere sight of raffle fills you with contempt. Challenging the cur to Hongyang, single crime, which finally tell the differences once and for all. <clears throat> Problem with that is. We're good at battle, but we're not good at. Personal battle. Screw it, we'll go for the prestige. Count the days. Watch us get killed. Chances of winning are poor. But, got the victory. He gains scarred. And he dies. With a mighty blow from your axe, you split your opponent's shield in half. Without a shield to hide behind, refill. Desperately swings his axe at your face. So you quickly pull away, you can feel blood trickling down your face from a gash. Annoyed, you land one final blow on him and cleave his head with your axe. Goodbye, brother. Is that going to give us the thing? No, not a Kinslayer. It's in a duel, apparently. Right, the others have voted for him. Ulfur. Okay, it's not terrible. We can get behind that. And by the time they get around anywhere useful, we'll have sieged both of these down. Killed many of the besieging soldiers. Leading troops down here. Huh. Okay. So if it's a prisoner of names, deeds have met with success. Thank you for the troops. <clears throat> Pulled him out of here to send him down there. We're down 54%. 92%. Do we have... nope. Still got no sins. I'd like to pick up greed. Oh, there he is. <laughs> As I said, we finish all these before he gets to go anywhere. So, offer peace, enforce demands. We get piety, prestige, subjugate him. Thank you very much. And at some point, we should be able to kill him. His heir. Not what I wanted. Um, arrange a betrothal to her. Still be a good idea, I think. Stop our only potentially powerful vassal from. Um, Declaring war on us. <clears throat> now I've got a hundred ducats. Svithyod. Would like to do a subjugation of him. That's all the men he has. And he can't raise any more. We can raise a lot. Dual Kettleman. He's a tough soldier. <coughs> Alright. Obviously, we've raised an army levy, so we're all good to dismiss. Oh, I thought I was saying 4,689. It's 4.689. So that's a bit weird. Um, we don't have them at the moment. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Alright, so we can do subjugation war here. And then we'd steal his titles and then be able to create Norway. So we have to do this. There is no such time limit against those who control titles within the kingdom. Free men are always willing to follow the mightiest ruler. Hell yes. 
Yarl, Kettlemond, you are done, buddy. Now, first things first. We'll raise all of our regulars, but we're not going to worry about these ones. Just don't want to have to focus on actually bringing them over here. <clears throat> then he has more men than us at the moment, so we need to at least... Yeah, no, screw it, we're going to raise them both. Alright, so here's 5,000 troops. Led by ourselves. On the flank. <clears throat> you know, what is our special skill? We've got defense and unyielding. Yeah, so we'll defend in the middle. Experimentality on the flank with most of the troops. And try and get Ulfa killed on the other side. You know, he's actually okay. Let's not get him killed. <clears throat> Theodoric is the better fighter. Alright, start off killing them. Sit there and do the siege while we uh, wait for everybody else to come together. Just keep an eye out for if they get attacked. Like so. Putting his forces over there. Um, <clears throat> probably start heading up towards this army. There we go. Perfect. What's going on there? <coughs> ah, pardon me. <clears throat> he was captured. Jesus Christ, how's that for a fast one? Um, we need to disband these. Only a few will make it home. Doesn't matter. We need to declare... Imagine... Well, he can raise troops, but it doesn't matter. Oh, well, it might matter. He can raise quite a lot. Alright, we'll be able to declare somewhere, so we should be safe. So, offer him peace, we enforce demands, we grab more than just the land we need. We've also grabbed the Yaldums. So, if we were to come in here, we should be able to create this. Can't afford the cost of 105. We control 84% though, so that's good. And, what do we have down here? Vestigolan has no prestige. We declare... Or dispute... Cost prestige makes people hate us. Alright, this will be a claim for somebody. Kettleman hates us no matter what. Rikulfur. Chief of Sjelland and Finn. Oh, Hrafen has a lot of land. Alright, Murra. He's actually the best one to give it to. Mercus Martha of Oslander. So, <clears throat> while we've got all of these raised, we can just go have some fun. King Barsh of Shelland. Not particularly important either. We can declare this one for the same guy. Make him absolutely love us. Or we can try and make this guy like us as well. He's in Slesvig and Jylland, so he can take Shelland. Well, it's not Shelland, it's just, but you get the idea. Petty Kingdom. Oh, that is actually a problem. What did we just declare here? Vestergotland. It's for the Petty Kingdom, we have to become a king first. Well, we just won't piece these out. That would actually separate whatever the other bit is. Alright, Spymaster. Keep studying technology. In Saxony, I guess. Let's try to remember not to piece these guys out. Although, we're actually losing a lot of money while we've got this army raised. Alright, we'll 
we'll take this. <laughs> Daughter was born, named Yarlik. We shall acknowledge her, not legitimize her. And we're going to use this army to do a bit of a conquest down here somewhere. Upland Prospers. And in our fancy new place, we want to start getting organization and construction. Alright, victory there. Let's just declare on this guy. Actually get a little closer first. Alright, we we're gonna do we'll just make it the same one. Jelen, Vestgotland, Ostergotland. I also discovered a man of great military talents. He is actually much better. Alright, what offer? He can just improve our people. Um, mm -hmm. Try and make one of these like us. We'll stick with the better guy though. Settle tribe. Build our legend. Alright. We declare. Claim. Gotland. Wouldn't come to us. Should probably just be doing established tributaries. We'll do that on somebody bigger. Um, do it for this guy again. <clears throat> Over the vassal limit. Yeah. <laughs> Start dealing with everything. I was to suffer in this life as well, friend. Bishop is imprisoned. So the preacher in your dungeons. Yep. Must have gotten had an army. I guess we can go back there. We're going to need to race some boats if we want to go conquer this. Kent we would do the conquest. He would call in Ermamain, who has nothing much going for him either. I think we will do that. Wait until we're a bit closer. So we have to be a king before we piece them out so that the Duke stays under us. good time to raise a bit of a fleet. What can we raise next to us? We like your enemies too much. <laughs> um, boats. Fifteen plus eight plus... Seriously. Well, that's 19. Plus 8 is enough. We can get rid of these 15. No, we can't. But we got that many. Um, this might be enough. We're just going to pillage everything in here. And we don't have to declare all them because this guy's fine. Alright. Let's get out to the streets of Adur. Before we run out of money would be nice. So we'll pillage it. We won't be able to keep it because there'll be uprisings so we're not going to deal with. Um, I just land directly on him. 
I'll send the boats back because money is our biggest issue. Very soon. Plan defenses. Alright, boats go. How much are they costing? 2.3 ducats. Boats go bye bye. Not going to be assaulting these. Surian peasant revolt we'll ignore. So we can see. Alright. Victory there. Oh, he's got a lot of holdings, even better. Should get quite a bit from taking this down. One, two, three, four, two hundred. Then we can end the others. And money's about to go negative. If it's conspiring to kill me, they better freaking not get guard dogs. And I don't think I ever remembered to do this. Auto stop everybody. I right, got a bit more money from looting that holding. Went to the second. Oh, that's not his. Okay. Petty Kingdom of Powys. So this will actually become Powys because we're going to loot everything else into oblivion. But it gives us 100% there. Um, let's just go and declare a war on him for that conquest. We'll go next door. And then Kent. We offer peace, we enforce our demands, usurp the city of Sandwich, Temple of Rochester, Chieftain of Kent. In here we are going to pillage, pillage and pillage. Now we have money. We come up to Ostlandet, come into Norway, we create the kingdom, gives us stacks of prestige. Uh, we would want, at this point, probably Astrid. We've maintained Agnetic Cognatic the whole way through. Um, we'll just wait for things to make sure they're updated properly. We are the Destroyer. Hell yeah, we are. Alright, new ambition should be to groom an heir, I guess. If it is absolute Cognatic, you can do either. But for this one, we have to do a male. He's fine. Right, so that's 10 years of this one. King Erika is only 33. And now we will just piece all of these out. And just to make sure it is actually under us because we're a king. We're all good. Off peace, enforce demands. Off peace, enforce demands. So this Jarl here is going to be quite powerful. The Ardom of Vestergotland, Shelland and Ostergotland. These people are going to hate him, but he will like us until 8 to 24. It's 20 years he's going to be our best defender. <clears throat> and let's just go get together a ridiculous amount of money over here. That's worth 75. How many holdings do you have in here? Yep, thought they'd vote for somebody else. Our half brother was the same mayor they were voting for before. And what does it cost us? It just costs us a little bit of prestige. Let's build a tribe in there. And it won't go to Poas. Because of the pillaging, these guys all. There we go. <laughs> We've done it already. Uh, we're just going to let them win it. We are still pillaging them. So we're just over here for the money and for the temporary destruction of their lands. I'm not going to try and keep it. Who is this? Count of Sussex has already given up. Well, let's just wait for this last little bit. Alright. Surrey, we shall declare <clears throat> a conquest. Get started walking over there. Offer him peace. Take all of this land, pillage it all. Okay, just build a tribe. 